This is how to install Mountain Lion on any unsupported Mac that has a Core 2 Duo processor. Now keep in mind this will only work on Macs that have Core 2 Duo processors, not Core Duo or Core Solo Macs. However, it will work on Macs such as the Mac Mini or 2006 iMac that have been upgraded from a Core Duo CPU or Core Solo in the Mac Mini's case to a Core 2 Duo CPU. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now this is the machine I am going to uh, be demonstrating line, Mountain Lion running on. Uh, this is a 2006 Core 2 Duo MacBook Pro and it works perfectly fine. Um, now some prerequisites you're going to need before you can do this is either your target machine running Lion or another machine running Lion or newer, so yeah. Um, if you use a, or if you use the target machine running Lion, you'll need to have three partitions on the hard drive: one for Lion, one to install Mountain Lion 2, and one to install Mountain Lion from. I'll explain that in a bit. Um, so yeah, um, that's what you'll need to uh, get the installation started. And I might add, you will also need a copy of. Mountain Lion uh, 10.8.4 uh, yeah 10.8.4 which I believe you can still download from Apple's website and you'll also need a copy of ML Post Factor which I'll put a link to in the description of this video so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare our installation drive on my uh, custom built Hackintosh over here so I'm going to go ahead and switch to a screen recording to make it a little bit easier and go ahead and show you what to do. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm now on my custom built PC and I have everything you'll need to install right here. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have a copy of Mountain Lion version 10.8.4 downloaded and placed in your applications folder. Um, as you can see, I have it right there and you need to make sure it is the full 4.46 gigabyte uh, app file so yeah that must be in your applications folder um, and you also need ML post factor as I said before um, you can see that it is 281 megabytes um, make sure that is the version you have so what you can do now is go ahead and or actually before you do make sure you have a USB drive or second partition prepared for your mountain lion install to go to so to do that just go ahead into disk utility select your USB drive as you can see mine is an 8 gigabyte one if it is a USB drive it must be at least 8 gigabytes um, go ahead and click on it click the partition tab select one partition um, under options make sure this is set to master boot record actually I'm not really sure if it matters if it's GUID or not but I've always done master boot record and it works just fine let's go ahead and do that um, make sure this is set to Mac OS extended journal just name it something like ML or something like that and click apply and partition now I'm not going to do that because I have already um, created a ML post factor drive and I obviously don't need to do it again so yeah so once you partition the drive, go ahead and close out of Disk Utility and open up the ML Post Factor application. Select Open. Type your password. And you will be greeted at this window right here. So just click Continue. Continue. Continue again. Now here, select your flash drive. It will be named, or it will be listed right here. So I'll do that select 10.8.4 and then select install ML post factor now once again I'm not going to do that because I've already done this to this flash drive but do when you click this it'll just go through a uh, process it'll appear like it's not really doing anything but don't worry it is it just takes quite some time to do so just wait that out and when it's done uh, you should be able to go into the drive that it will be renamed to Mac OS 10 install DVD and you will see uh, the contents of the Mountain Lion installer 
have been placed on it. So yeah. So once that's done, you can go ahead and eject the drive and finish the rest of the process on your target machine. So I'll be right back. Alright, so you can see here I have the target machine all ready to go. I have the ML Post Factor USB drive plugged in, as well as an external hard drive because I want to keep the install of Mountain Lion uh, on this on the internal drive intact because I use this machine. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first turn on the machine and hold down the option key. It does take quite a, quite some time on this machine. Alright, so once uh, the menu appears, you will see uh, some options here. The one you want to look for is EFI boot. Uh, this is the external hard drive that I showed you before. Um, EFI boot is the flash drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and boot from it. Now it will take quite some time to start up, so I will resume the video once it has done so. Alright, so as you can see, the machine has booted up, and we are at the main OS X installer window. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to Utilities and select a Disk Utility. Just wait a second. Now what you're going to want to do is find your target drive that you want to install OS X to. And if you're using your internal drive to install from, select the partition you want to install to. And just go over to the Erase tab, make sure it's set to Mac OS X Extended Journal, and click Erase and Erase. I'm of course not going to do that because I'm going to keep the install on this drive intact. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and you can just proceed with the installation as normal So, just select the uh, target partition you just formatted in disk utility and click install and the installation will begin now um, <clears throat> once it finishes you will um, yeah anyway once it finishes you'll need to reboot the machine and then go up here to Utilities and select ML Post Factor. That will load up the uh, ML Post Factor Post Install Utility. Um, you can just go ahead and select Continue on that. Continue again. Continue. Make sure you select Mac OS 10.8.4 and select the target drive you want to install it to and click Install ML Post Factor. Now, I'm not actually going to do this because I've already done it, but um, yeah, you'll just do that, and once that finishes, you will go ahead and reboot the machine. Now one thing I've noticed um, when you reboot the machine is that it doesn't actually restart. It's kind of strange, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, it appears to have done so that time, but after running ML Post Factor, it doesn't for some reason. It'll just hang on like a gray screen with a cursor, and <clears throat> in that case, you can go ahead and just shut the machine off. It's no big deal. Alright, so once you have finished installing and have installed the ML Post Factor utility on the drive that you just finished installing Mountain Lion on, you can go ahead and boot from that drive. So I'm going to go ahead and boot from the uh, external drive and I will go ahead and show you that it works so yeah I'll be right back alright so once OS 10 has finished booting you will notice that you are in a fully working version of OS 10.8.4 Mountain Lion now the only thing left is to update to 10.8.5 now as you can see here the machine is of course detected uh, as being running 10.8.4 so yeah um, the 10.8.5 update actually will not show up in the App Store unless you make a slight modification which I'm about to show you so what you need to do is go into your main hard disk 
go to system library core services and by main hard disk I mean the partition that mountain lion is installed to of course and find system version dot p list now uh, I need to get rid of this one put that in the downloads folder for now but what you're going to need to do is drag this file out to your desktop open it open with text edit and locate the product build version string so what you're going to need to do is highlight that and backspace that and in its place type 12 E55. Go ahead and save it. All right, we'll save if you close it. And drag the file back into the core services folder. Select replace. And go ahead and clean it up just for the heck of it. So yeah, once you've done that, you will <clears throat> you'll be able to go into the uh, window here and you will see it is now build 12E55 and if you were to go to software update the 10.8.5 update would be available so if it is you can go ahead and install that and once that's done you will need to once again boot up off your ML Post Factor USB drive and run the ML Post Factor utility as before so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so once you have successfully installed the 10.8.5 update and have rerun ML Post Factor off the USB drive or ML Post Factor install partition, you should be able to fully boot up into a working OS once again. But if you go into About This Mac, you will notice that it is still 10.8.4. Well, that is just because ML Post Factor overwrites uh, system version.plist every time you install it or run the ML Post Factor utility. So now that you're in 10.7.5, or 10.8.5, sorry, you will need this version of system version.plist. As you can see, it says 10.8.5 and includes the 10.8.5 build number. Now, hang on to this file. It will be linked in the description, by the way. Um, hang on to this file because you will need it a couple more times because some security updates actually break ML Post Factor and you have to rerun it again. So, yeah. It's no big deal, really. Just every time you install... Basically, every time you install an update that requires you to reboot, just install uh, or run ML Post Factor off the drive just to be safe. So, yeah. And... And once you run it, you will obviously be reverted back to 10.8.4. Well, not really, just the info.plist or the system version.plist file. So what you're going to want to do <coughs> is go to your partition. Go to System Library Core Services once again. Find a system version.plist, which is right there. Go ahead and delete it. Type your password. And go ahead and copy the new version to that folder. So as you can see, it's right there, version 10.8.5. And in about this Mac, it now says 10.8.5 with build number 12F45. And that's exactly what you want. You will now be able to install the rest of the updates and like I said, you'll have to rerun ML Post Factor a few times. That's nothing to worry. And you will have to replace this file every time you run ML Post Factor. It could, it will screw up and not give you all the updates that you need. So yeah, um, that is how to run Mountain Lion on an unsupported Core 2 Duo Mac. Hope you enjoyed this video.